going on you guys and welcome to a, another video hope you guys are having a great day today as you guys already saw we went to home depot we got a couple things right here that we needed so this is a gap filler and this is for the rust so what we're gonna do for this is all all of this that we cut that's fresh we are going to be spraying it with with the rust reformer right there so that'll prevent this entire thing from rusting out and that'll clean that up we'll do that for all four sides as well and then for this we're just going to use for the two rears when we cut into the fender don't mind the car it's absolutely filthy once we get everything finished we're going to clean the car inside and out and uh we'll be good to go but as you guys can see that gap right there um that should not be open so what we're going to do is we're going to use this gap filler and we're going to fill that gap with it. The excess that's popping out, we'll use a razor or something, we'll cut it. And then it'll be like white, I believe, that'll pop out. So we'll color match it, we'll use black and paint it and uh, make it look good. And then we'll also spray it with the rust reformer right there. That way no rust is going to rust out the bottom out. So we're not having any rubbing issues back here. I've already tested that out. So the rear is completely fine. The fronts, we still have to work out cutting the front bumper a little bit and cutting that part down there. So first we're gonna take the wheel off and then from there, we'll be able to have a better clearance. All right, so we finally, we got the wheel off and now we'll be able to get that a lot easier another thing too is if you didn't use a jigsaw like we used a jigsaw for this entire thing if you used an angle grinder you wouldn't have this problem this would actually be sticking out further so what you could do is you could do slits in this because this will be out further than the body cut slits and then fold it against the body and you could weld it onto that and it'll be pretty clean but since we do used a jigsaw we're gonna have to fill it with this stuff. So you can do either or, but this is what we're doing. Before doing this, I would recommend getting eyewear goals because this stuff is super, super sticky. You guys, do you end up using this? We're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. And then from there, I guess we just let it wait to cure. Got everything done. I shaved it a little bit down uh, to make it a little bit smoother and then from here we're going to be using this stuff we're going to spray all around here and then we're going to finish it with this right here and it also stops rust as well but this is also a black paint so we'll go ahead and just go over that lightly probably do like two or three coats with that and we should be good the rear on this side will be completely finished freshly painted just a little bit we're just gonna go over it one more time. I think we'll be all set, but this is like the first coat. It's looking not too bad. So we went ahead and finished with the second coat. Doesn't look too, too bad. So we're just gonna leave it like this. I might go over it one more time. There are no gaps. I made sure that there are no holes for anything to go up in there to cause rust or nothing like that. So we're gonna put the wheel back on and then we'll go ahead and do the other side real quick. And we'll. painted it with black enamel put the wheels back on I put the spacers up front so I'll lower it and show you guys what the spacers look like we're almost done next video which is going to be tomorrow or I'll be or recording it tomorrow I'm going to be putting the side skirts on which are right there and I'll be putting the front bumper extensions on with that being said we should be finishing up in the next video and we'll have everything that will be on the Mustang will we'll be pretty much 
almost done. I think we'll just need to touch up a few things, but for the most part, I think in the next video, we'll be completely done. Finished with that, lowered it. So we do have the spacers up in the front. Get an angle like that. Get a quick angle like this. It's coming along quite nicely. It looks so, so good coming down the road. Actually, what I wanna do real quick is I wanna put a chair right here and I wanna come up the driveway and show you guys what it looks like when it comes up to you. Sounds so good. Hope that came out good. I just did the little pull up and then we'll do a quick this side angle like that. Just to show you guys a little bit more. It's not looking complete just yet once the side skirt's on. All right, just real quick, let's do a, a rear shot. Oh yeah. Tomorrow I have a full day to work on this entire car and I'm going to get it all done or at least very, very close to being done. So stay tuned. This video I just wanted to focus on filling the gaps, spraying all the bare metal. I sprayed the fronts with the spray. I went ahead and did the rears and I filled the gap in the back. I just wanted to do that. Make sure no rust or debris got up in the fender wells. We got that taken care of and I saw you guys' comments saying that as well. I was going to do it, I just wanted to make an entire video about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I believe that every wide body kit is going to run into an issue like that. So, you're either going to have to fill the gap with some gap filler or you're going to have to slice it up and fold it over the fender and weld it on. So, either way, both works. We just had a jigsaw so we had to do it that way, but regardless, still worked and it looks good so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to smash the like button if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel make sure to the button down below like always guys have a great day peace